Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Toby. I'm going to show you guys how to make this quick and easy chicken and couscous soup. Uh, you'll find all the ingredients you need throughout the video as well as the description box. Um, feel free to change any ingredients however you like. This is how I prefer it. So, I am heating up my Delatere Dutch oven. And I have in here two tablespoons of peanut oil. You don't have to use peanut oil if you don't want to. You can use olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil. You can even use ghee. So I'm going to begin in the bottom of my Dutch oven. And I'm going to start by sauteing two sticks of celery that I cut up. And if you like Jolene Sugar Baker, if you don't like celery, you can just leave it out. So I'm just going to saute the celery just for one minute. Now after a couple of minutes, I'm going to put in one bell pepper. I'm using a red bell pepper. And I'll just roughly chop it up. And I'm going to allow those to cook together for a couple of minutes. So it's been a couple of minutes. I do want to mention that I am working on high heat, so I'm stirring this pretty often. This idea is to have a nice heavy bottom uh, pot. So after you've sauteed the peppers and the uh, celery, we're going to add the onion. Give everything a stir. We're just going to cook this together for a couple of minutes. So it's been a couple of minutes. So I have here one chicken breast that I cut up into really small pieces. Okay, so this is just one whole chicken breast, large chicken breast, and I seasoned it with a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of sweet curry powder. And I allowed that to sit on there for about an hour. So I did season it off camera. If you don't want to use you know any of the spices you want to change them up, feel free. So I'm just going to kind of break that chicken apart because, you know, it's sitting in the bowl for a while. So it's kind of stuck together. And I'm just going to saute everything together. So I'm spacing the chicken out first. And I'm going to allow it to sit in the pan for a minute. And then I'm going to stir it uh, occasionally. I just want to begin to brown the chicken a little bit on the outside. So I have this going for about three minutes. So to that, I'm going to have add some garlic. Two tablespoons of garlic that I minced with my little hand food processor and I have it reserved in water. So I'm going to stir that for about 30 seconds just to cook the garlic. You don't want the garlic to brown because it will make it better. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out my previous videos. Please hit that thumbs up. Add this video to your playlist and uh, also leave a comment. I appreciate your support. This really truly helped me if you just take a moment to do so. So, <clears throat> to that, I'm going to add six cups of. Oh, wait, before I add that, I'm going to add my paprika. I like to add two tablespoons of smoked paprika. I love paprika. I like to add it last so that way the heat can hit it and it just totally transforms the flavor. So I'm just going to cook this just for a minute. Spin about a minute. So to this I'm going to add six cups of water. Now to the water I'm going to add my bouillon cubes. If you don't want to use bouillon water you can use uh, chicken stock. So I'm only going to use two bouillon cubes and the bouillon cubes I've been using is one cube makes two cups of broth. So I'm only going to use two of these because I'm going to make like four cups of broth with the bouillon cubes. That way you'll get the flavor but everything won't end up being too salty and you can always add more salt if you need the salt. So after adding the bouillon packs 
I'm just going to start in a half a teaspoon of turmeric. Give everything a stir and bring this up to a boil. So everything is come up to a boil. So I'm going to turn the heat down. I'm going to turn the heat down to medium low. And the last thing we're going to add to this is Israeli couscous or known as pearl couscous. This is one cup. So I'm going to cover this and I'm going to let this cook for about 15 minutes. So I'm going to stir probably every five minutes just to make sure the couscous is not sinking to the bottom of the pot. So it's been 15 minutes. And I've been stirring this frequently. And see the chicken pieces are so small so they're not going to take no time to finish cooking. So everything is done. I'm going to turn the heat off, allow this to stand. I'm going to make some of my grandma's fried cornbread to go along with my So here is the final of everything. Please hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comments section. Also, please add this video to your playlist to share it. This smells so good. It looks so good. I have my grandma's fried cornbread. This is not hot water cornbread. This is different. We have our fried cornbread to go with our soup. So I'm going to give this a taste. I love couscous. Wow. Absolutely delicious. I forgot to mention that I didn't add any salt in the end, but I did add a little bit of pepper. But this is absolutely delicious. You can taste all those peppers, the garlic, the flavor from the curry and the turmeric. It's just absolutely amazing. The couscous is perfect. It's not overcooked. We got this beautiful cornbread. My favorite. There you have it. Perfect chicken couscous soup. Perfect for the winter time. Absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. I truly appreciate all of you. And I try to respond to all comments. I know I get a lot of them. I try my best. But thank you so much for supporting me. And I truly appreciate you all. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm so horrible about mentioning that. You'll find me on Facebook and Instagram. You'll find all the information in the description box. See you guys next time.